Mattia Valley, the host site for the girls' swimming and diving sectional. Rosary, a top swim school, Bennett, and the Naperville schools warming up in the pool, while Niqua does that as their warm-up on the deck. Starting us off, the 200 medley relay. The last leg diving in has Niqua Valley, Rosary, and Oswego East all up front. Final stretch has Wildcat Kristen Stagey pulling it out for her team in first in 144.85 seconds. Rosary in second. Same distance for the 200 IM now. Third heat diving in with all three Valley schools and Naperville North. Niqua Valley Sophie Meng leads the pack and would place seventh overall. Matias Lucy Sawicki would be one second behind her. Bobanzi's Emily Hennessy, 0.2 seconds, coming in ninth, and North Sophie Body grabs 10th by 0.03 seconds. The 200 IM final heat diving in with Niqua's Maxine Parkinson up against Rosary's Sydney Van Overmyren and Central's Paige Collins. Looks pretty even as they swim towards the wall, but Overmyren would tap in 2 minutes, 5.46 seconds, and Parkinson in 205.74. Collins would grab 4. Rosary's Daniela Sanchez is swimming for the Athletes with Disabilities 53. She finishes in 34.98 seconds and qualifies for state. Fastest race with Matias Fastest Racer. Final heat of the 53 with McKenna Stone going against Oswego East and Rosary. It could be anyone's race and Oswego East Grace Cooper pulls it out with Stone in second in 23.14 seconds. Yeah, our goal as a team was, you know, because we're not fully tapered. A lot of us, uh, some of us are fully tapered, some of us are halfway tapered, and some of us are not tapered at all. So we really wanted to try to qualify with all of that and kind of, we obviously wanted to qualify, but we wanted to stay with our times and see if we could drop a little and just, we're obviously still focusing on next week heavily a lot. Final heat of the 100 fly with Paige Collins in the first lane up against Rosary again and a different stone sister, Riley Stone. Collins taps the wall first in 55.55 seconds. Athena Ye in second and Riley Stone in 56.42 seconds for third. Let's finish swimming off with another relay, the 200 free final heat. With water flying everywhere, it's another big race. Central's Lisa Johnson pushing against Niqua and Oswego, and it will finish in that order. Oswego East first, Niqua Valley second, and Central ties for third with Rosary. Honestly, it's all my team. They keep the mindset so good and so goofy and so fun. And for someone like me who's totally prone to overthinking, they're perfect. They keep me so light and happy. So it's whatever they do, the mood they bring is so good. Now over to the diving board. We finished with the two Nequa divers who helped grab their team some extra points. Jane Reese performs a back one and one half somersault, one half twist free, and lands her in second place with 472.3 points. Not bad for the first year of diving. Top diver on the day? Well, that's Sammy Carlson, who also belongs to the top team of the day. The Nequa diver performs a one and one quarter forward one half twist free for her final dive, helping her to first place at sectionals with a 473.85. All around, Nequa Valley edges out Rosary for the sectional plaque, and Oswego East places third and central in fourth. I was a little bit nervous, but honestly, I was mostly excited. It was my last sectionals, and I just came in and did what I came here to do, so I'm really excited about it. It feels awesome. State is one of the best meets, and I'm just really honored that I was able to qualify. It feels really good. Jane and I just feed off each other's energy, so it was really fun seeing us so close at the end.